Welcome everyone. So here I am with my class number 10 and uh, as I said in my earlier class, uh, today we will be beginning the next unit you have on the literature text that is Around the Medicinal Creeper written by K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi. <coughs> now this is actually an Indian context related text uh, wherein you are just going to study about the title suggests. So what exactly do you expect here and uh, who is the author, what is the author is all about, let us know about that and then uh, uh, let us go back to the title of the chapter, it is a very interesting uh, story that you need to follow and at the same time you will also know like you know what are some of the, uh, what can I say, the pre-reading activity of the, uh, you know, uh, the story tells us and then we will come back to on the form of the discussion on uh, so before I could start anything, let us see like you know what is the title of this uh, short story that we are going to study today or uh, let us uh, start discussing it from the language it is around a medicinal creeper. So I think we all are aware of what is these words are going for and what do they mean, right? So around, around is nothing but a proposition that we may always use. Then you have a definite article, uh, indefinite article A around a one particular singular thing around a medicinal something like you know we all know about like you know herbs shrubs because India is a land for Ayurvedic medicinal availabilities that are available in India isn't it so that's why we are going to study here about one of the plants or something so it's not exactly a plant but rather it's a creeper you know what is a creeper right so a creeper is something that goes with the support or that grows with the support big tree or maybe a plant for that matter, isn't it? So it will not grow exactly like one out or something, it will definitely grow especially in the places where it will take the support from either a plant or a, a shrub or maybe a, a tree or something like that. So here we are going to study or we are going to discuss about the same that is around a medicinal creeper. So something that has a value with relation to or with respect to medicine, that's why it is entitled as around a medicinal creeper. So to tell you about the author on page number yeah on page number 25 in your textbooks you have been given here about the author. So let us read and know more about who the general pages. <coughs> so a note on the author okay translated from Kannada by K M Srinivasan Gowda is what you need so as I said, it's a story with respect to the context in Karnataka or with respect to the language Kannada. Okay. So originally written in the Kannada language, it has been translated by one of the translators. So that we will see later, but let us understand the main author of the story around a medicinal creeper. Okay. Now K. P. Purnachandra Tejasvi, born in the year 1938, and he was lived or he lived until 2007 he is a prominent Kannada writer, novelist, photographer, ornithologist, publisher, painter, and environmentalist who made a great impression on Navya period of Kannada literature and inaugurated the Bandaya Epoch with his short story collection of Abajurina Post of Pisu. Okay, so what you need to understand here is that just remember the name. I'm sure that you all are familiar with this name. One or the other story you might have definitely studied or read or you have understood in your lower class. So K. P. Purnachandra Tejasvi was a prominent Kannada writer, novelist, photographer, ornithologist, publisher, painter, and environmentalist who made a great impression on the Navya period of Kannada literature. So those who are having Kannada as your language, you must be knowing more about uh, this author here. And he is a man known as mainly related to something that is called as Navya period of Kannada literature. Then he was also uh, inaugurated the Bandaya epoch. I think Bandaya was something like you know a kind of a period of literature that you find in Kannada, uh, Kannada with his short story collection of Abhaju in a post office or something. Okay. So these are, this is what, nothing to remain or nothing to remember more but to just remember the name, original author of the story is Purnachandra Tejasu. Okay, uh, so whatever the discussion on him, I mean, whatever the details on him is given on your text, you can just go through. But coming back 
to his early stages of writing career, Tejasvi wrote poems but later concentrated on short stories, novels and essays. He has a distinguished style of writing which has arrived in a new era in Kannada literature. So what do I need to tell you here is nothing but that Poonjan Tejasvi is regarded as one of the most prominent writers in Kannada literature and hence this story which was actually written in Kannada has been translated to English. The translator name is given at the end of the story. If you can just look into that, probably it is Srinivas Gaudais who has translated this uh, uh, story from Kannada to this language here. Okay, now let me straight away come on to Around a Medicinal Creeper, Purna Chandra Tejasvi. The pre reading activity of the lesson asks us these questions Are you aware of the therapeutic value of commonly used spices like turmeric? Cumin, mustard, sesame, cinnamon, cloves, garlic, ginger, pepper, etc. Share your ideas with your classmates. I think with the current situation that is prevailing around the world, I think these words or these uh, uh, spices, whichever is being given in the pre reading activity, works really very good for the pandemic that we are having here, isn't it? So, are you aware of therapeutic? What do you mean by therapeutic? medicines which are mainly used for one or the other kind of subsidizing diseases is called as therapeutic. So they have some or the other kind of an element which will definitely reduce the health problems someone will have or someone has. Okay, so they have the therapeutic value of commonly used spices like turmeric. You know what is turmeric? Turmeric is in much in use these days, you all know that. Cumin seeds, hope you know that, and mustard, yes, sesame, that another kind of a spice that we use, cinnamon, cloves, garlic, ginger, pepper, all these words or all these words are nothing but the examples of the spices that mostly are found in Indian context, isn't it? Now, what he tells us is that, have you ever heard, if you have heard, do you know the therapeutic value that these spices are being used. Especially if you take an example of Ayurveda medicines, you will come to know or you can try to correlate about whatever the seeds or the spices that are there, what therapeutic value do they have in terms of preparing medicines. Okay, so share your ideas with your classmates. Since you people are not here in the class, obviously you will have to just think of these words just try to remember one or the other way, uh, one or the other point related to these kinds of the spices that have been mentioned here. Okay, so what do we have to uh, slowly come to the context here is that you have a title and that title is nothing but around a medicinal creeper and uh, in the pre reading activity before that, the author, okay, prominent writers in Kannada literature, Purna Chandra Tejasvi, and uh, originally written in Kannada language, which has been translated, and this translated class or we will be discussing from this class onwards and uh, the pre-reading activity of the lesson tells us to know about the uses or the importance or the advantages of the spices like turmeric, ginger, pepper, cinnamon, cumin seeds, all these things will definitely have one or the ther other therapeutic value. Therapeutic as I said, something that is used as medicine in order to bring down an affected one or a diseased person or something in one of the other ways. Alright, so am I clear with the background whatever that we have discussed so far? So let us straight away start. What is this story is all about? Clear? Okay. <clears throat> Before that, I would definitely ask you to look into the picture that has been given there. So definitely, as I said, what do you mean by a creeper? So you can see the picture of a creeper there. There are some three characters. There is a creeper which is growing with respect to a tree, a big tree that is there on the picture. And it is being growing with the support of that particular tree. And what is the title? The title is around the medicinal creeper. So you can have your own ways or you can have your own uh, thoughts about what exactly is that okay so this is what exactly is being told or uh, before we could go exactly to the story okay all right then 
let us start and this is this is the story of an unusual medicinal creeper unusual something which is very hard to find out unusual not usually is available unusual so understand this value okay so this is the story of an unusual medicinal creeper creeper as i said something that grows with the support of a plant or a tree or a branch or whatsoever <clears throat> There were so many stories about this creeper, some true, some imaginary, and some totally false. Are we, going, are we doing the title? Yes, isn't it? Around a medicinal creeper. So, in the very first paragraph, Purnachandra Deja Sri tells us about the importance of this particular creeper. The first thing that he tells us is, it is an unusual, okay? Not that is available every time. Unusual creeper. Then there are so many stories related to particular creeper in which some of them can be true, some of them can be just only imaginary or some of them are totally false stories. <clears throat> to go beyond these stories and learn some facts about this plant took me almost 20 years. According to the author of the story, he has heard more about this medicinal creeper in such a way that he has come across so many different varieties of the stories which can be classified as true, imaginary and totally false. So when he came into the contact or when he really wanted to know or study more about this particular creeper that is there is going to mention in this chapter, it almost took him 20 years to understand the importance of this medicinal creeper. Clear? Now this is what exactly is the uh, introduction I say introduction to what you are going to study. Okay, shall we proceed? Alright. A coffee seed bed has to be protected from the sun by putting up a, a shade over it. Those who are having coffee plantations, you would be better knowing that a coffee seed bed has to be protected from the sun by putting up a shade over it. Sunlight is very important at the same time. Sunlight should be used with a proper or it should be used with kind of limited uh, access to it, isn't it? So in a similar way, a coffee seed bed has to be protected by the sun, from the sun by putting up a shade over it. Once we were erecting a bamboo frame for such a shade and we needed something with which we could tie the cane pieces placed across the frame. Okay. Now, author starts his way of finding medicinal creeper and the first thing that he gives us is life experience of his own experience. Okay, So, he was in a coffee plantation and in order to put a shade to all these coffee plants that were there in this plantation, they were tying bamboo frames. You know what is bamboo, right? So bamboo frames for such a shade and we needed something with which we could tie the cane pieces placed across the frame. So we sent, we, the people, okay? So including the author. So we is a plural form of second person, isn't it? So we sent Sana, S-A-N-N-A, -N -N Sana to get some creepers from the forest. So what happens or what used to be people doing in those days was like you know if they wanted to tie something they used to definitely go for a creeper or in search of some creeper so that they can tie for their purpose. So we, we sent Sana to get some creepers from the forest. Okay, so there was a man, there was a labor, whatever you can think of. So the author along with some other people sent Sana, S-A-N-N-A -N -N Sana to get some creepers in order to tie for the bamboos, bamboo sticks to make a frame for the what shades providing it for the coffee plants. All right. So when we sent him, he brought a whole bundle. So he went in search of so many creepers in the forest, and then he brought a whole bundle of the uh, creepers. Then Mara opened the bundle and he was sifting. Okay, so Sana brought the whole lot of creeper bundles. The moment he brought it, 
we are introduced to another character by name Mara and A R A. So Mara opened the bundle and while sitting, he suddenly looked at one of the creepers and scolded Sana, Hey, why did you pluck this you? I hope you can follow what has been happening here. But understand that when Sana went to bar, bring the creepers, what is the purpose of the creeper? You know that. Why was why was Sana sent to bring? You may get a question for that. Okay. Uh, so when he brought a whole lot of bundle of creepers, Mara, one more character from the story, opens up the bundle, sitting, sitting, he was shocked, he was surprised sitting and he started shouting. He suddenly looked at one of the creepers that was brought by Sana and he scolded him and he told him, hey, why did you pluck this, you fool? The immediate reaction of Mara looking at the one of the creepers that was brought by Sana was very, made him very angry and he just scolds him like, why did you pluck this creeper, you fool? Then, when I and now who is I here? It is nothing but the author. The Purna Chandra So when I inquired, when the author inquired, he said that it was a medicinal creeper. Who said? Mara said. Okay. So Mara said that it was a medicinal creeper. Sana said that there was plenty of it in the forest. Mara eagerly said, come show me where it is and took Sana into the forest. So what you need to understand here is that Sana might be having a very less or no knowledge about this creeper and he told to Mara that there are plenty of creepers in the forest and I can get you a whole lot of it whenever you ask for it or something. When he tells him so, Mara says that, okay, if you are saying that you will show me plenty of these creepers, then come, show me where did you find them. So both of them will go. Out of the sheer curiosity, sheer, very interesting curiosity, I also went to go. So along with Sana, Mara and the author, these are the three characters that you can find in the story that you have to understand. So wherever I, it is nothing but the first person narration there. Okay. So out of the curiosity, excitement, even I, that is the author, also went along with them to find out where this creeper was. That is how I got to know about this medicinal creeper. So on this discussion between Sana and Mara, the author of the story comes to know more about this medicinal creeper. When Sanappa showed the plant, Sanna, Sanappa, both are one and the same. So don't get confused with that. Okay. So when Sanappa showed the plant, Mara became very active. He caught hold of one of the tendrils and tied it to a nearby tree. That is where Sana showed him where did he pluck that uh, creeper. The moment it was seen by Mara, he became very active. He was also very curious. He became very active and he caught hold of one of the tendrils. Tendrils, the small branches of that particular creeper. Tendrils and they tied it to a nearby tree. The moment he looked at it, he just tied it to a nearby tree, the tendrils, <coughs> the branches of the tree. Then the author was surprised at that and asked Mara, why did you tie that creeper to the tree? Okay, so out of curiosity, even author started asking Mara as why did he tie that creeper to a tree? The thief, he said, now it will be lying there. So the thief is a reference to the medicinal creeper that was found, okay? So that thief, he said, now it will be lying here. So if I am tying it to a tree, it will definitely lie there only. Why? Where do you think it will run to? I asked him. So why are you talking like that? As if the creeper will go away or will run away or will vanish. So why are you talking like that? Then Mara starts saying, he said, <clears throat> Oh, you do not you don't know about this creeper. It has been cursed by a sage. Sage Godman. Okay. So, oh, you don't know about this creeper. So let me tell you about this particular creeper. It has been cursed by a sage. The creeper has been cursed by a sage. The curse
curse is that when someone needs this plant, they shall not find it. What was the curse that was given by SH to this creeper? So when it is required at the moment, it will not be available at any cost. That is, the curse is that when someone needs the creeper or this plant, they shall not find it. So when you want it and search for it, you won't be able to find it for dear life. That is why when you find it, you must immediately tie it to a nearby plant so that it will be lying there, explained Mara. So now Mara is explaining why did he tie the creeper to a nearby tree. I hope you have followed what exactly Mara has told. Right? So this medicinal creeper was cursed by one of the sages and the curse was that whenever it is required to save a life or whatsoever to do any kind of a thing when you are deliberately looking for this creeper you shall not find it so that is why i tied it to a nearby plant so that it will be lying there only so this was the explanation that was given by mara to sanapa as well as the author about this creeper clear all right come on to the next one this creeper has small leaves resembling beetle leaves and bears fruits in a bunch like grapes now he is explaining us more about the medicinal creeper this creeper has small leaves you have understood that resembling similar 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 to the beetle leaves that we eat and bears fruits in a bunch like grapes immediately after the rains this plant comes up and flowers very quickly puts forth flowers and fruits and it dies what the medicinal creeper now he is giving us more explanation about what this creeper is all about so it is just like beetle uh, leaves and it grow, you know grows the fruits like in terms of grape grapes and then the moment immediately after the rains this plant comes up with the flowers that is it starts glowing with the flowers very quickly puts forth the flowers and fruits and it again dies it comes up again only in the next rainy season so it comes up only in the next rainy season so in between no one sees this plant now he has a reason why it is not available every time so only in the rainy season it takes birth or maybe it starts growing the moment it starts growing it bears the beetle leaves with very small in its size and then gives or bears the fruits like bears and then again it goes immediately after the rain it starts growing while giving birth to the flowers then sheds it and no way is available for the next rainy season to come so that is why this plant is very difficult to find in the forest is what Mara is trying to tell us. So in between no one sees this plant because it is not seen for most of the year. They probably tie it to a tree nearby so that it can be easily identified or located. So in order to locate or in order to find out at the need of the R, this plant, the moment you see it, it is always better to tie it to a nearby tree so that it becomes very easy for you to identify or locate where this medicinal creeper is at the time of the requirement. That is what he is saying here. But Mara's stories are so bizarre, bizarre, very difficult to believe, bizarre, that one does not know which is true and which is false. So whenever Mara tells us the stories in such a way about what he has told about this medicinal creeper, author is of the opinion that sometimes it becomes bizarre, very difficult to believe whether it is true or false. So he was in a confusion, the author was in a confusion. This is not confined only to people like Mara. The entire system of Indian medicine suffers from this kind of a mis. Now, author comes back to the original Indian form of medicines, especially when it comes in terms of the finding of the medicinal plants or something. That is why nowadays 
if you see any of the Ayurvedic hospitals or something, they grow these plants which are used as the medicines in their campus only. Isn't it? If you take an example of eczema that we have in Kanyarala, what does it say? Or the whatever the uh, you know medicines that they actually make, they have their own farm where they grow it. Isn't it? In a similar way, now what author is trying to tell is that tell us is that it is very difficult to believe what Mara has said because all the stories are sometimes very bizarre, bizarre, very difficult to believe. So when he comes or when he has said that it will be available only once in a year or something, so the moment I see it, I just tie to a new or uh, nearby tree or a plant so that I can identify or locate it immediately at the time of requirement. So this is not confined. So author is now realizing the fact that this is not only the case with Mara, the entire system of Indian medicine, that is the entire system of Indian medicine suffers from this kind of mystification. What is a mystery? Secret, mystery, you do not know, unknown, isn't it? So even today, Indian system of Ayurvedic medicine still believes the fact that certain plants in the universe are very rarely used or they are available only season-wise. That is what you need to understand here. Okay, so I'll stop here and let us discuss about this medicinal paper in the next class. Okay, so let me very quickly recalculate whatever that we have done. So you got to remember the title of the story that we are doing, who is the author, the original author and then the translated version because this is a short story written in Kannada language which has been translated to English. Alright, so at the beginning of the chapter it has been very clearly told to understand the importance of the Indian spices. Why? Because this is a story about some medicinal creeper. Okay, so what we have seen in the beginning of the story is that we have been introduced so far with three characters. Okay, now the author who was in this plantation, coffee plantation, they were doing some work in order to protect coffee plants from the direct sunlight and they were trying to tie up some bamboo bushes so that it can give them that shade or something. So in order to tie that, they were in requirement of a creeper or something where Mara and the author sent one of their workers by name Sana, Sanapa to go and fetch some creeper. When he brings the whole bundle of the creepers, Mara immediately identifies it is a medicinal creeper and he Know, shouts at him or yells at him why did you pluck this or something and then he asks him to take him to the place where he plucked this creeper so all three of them will go together and then they find that particular creeper medicinal creeper and the moment Mara sees that he immediately ties it to the nearby plant or the nearby tree then he keeps on giving the explanation about the importance of this medicinal Okay, so I'm, I'm just stopping here at the time where the Mara is telling us about the importance of this medicinal creeper. So three characters to remember, Sana who is also called as Sanapa, who is the worker and then you have Mara and then you have the author himself. So far we have come across these three characters who are, who have rather I say, who have rather found a medicinal Mara kept on explaining about the importance of this medicinal creeper. Alright, so stop here.